Empowering women to be strong, noble, and powerful. We are Adira. Even if a woman is abused a very long time ago, it comes out in her life in a negative way. A quote by Catherine Deneuve. A sentence that made us think, is being a woman bad? Is being a woman weak and worthless? Of course, the answer is no. And we all seek justice for those who suffered from violence. Allow me to introduce our organization. We promote women to be strong, noble, and powerful. We are Adira. A is for able, for surely you are. D is for dignity, no one disputes this trait. I is for impervious to any discredit. And R is for resilient women who rise. A is for ardent, we are passionate to serve feminism. Our organization exists for a lot of women who are suffering from violence. Being labeled as someone weak and worthless, they are sick and tired of being discriminated just because they are born a woman. To deliver this message and to help fix this problem, we will use social media as a platform to spread awareness and educate. We believe that one of the best ways to combat violence against women is to fix it in the beginning. One of our topmost objectives as an organization for this YouTube channel is to uphold the value of every individual's life being faithful stewards of God. Therefore, we should unite in bringing men and women together to work toward building healed shalom communities and to make the issue of violence against women not only a life issue but one of faith. As a faith community, we begin this task with affirmation of the image of God in His human creation and the significance of the shared privilege and responsibility of men and women as stewards of all creation. We want to stress that God's outpouring grace of courage and strength both upon women and men shows God's affirmation of mutuality and equality among His creations. Violence committed against women is an eradication of human dignity which must be given focus. This requires enormous determination and concerted initiatives in awareness raising, value orientation, and alternative options for victims. about women's rights, violence, and discrimination, especially in Asian countries. We ask others on Twitter and Instagram to post your questions to us with the hashtag AskAdira. First question is from I'm a real you. Shout out to you, Kadiran. The question is, is giving importance to human rights vital? Why? Since you were the one who introduced our Q&A, why does well, you know, you know, you know, you know, Patricia? Well, it's important for us to stand up for women's rights because women are not treated right. The society labels them as weak and worthless. Is it fair for a woman to be called that way without her proving others wrong? No, it might seem like an obvious point, but we cannot have a free and equal society until everyone is free and equal. Until women enjoy the same rights as men, this inequality will not be everyone's problem. We do believe that society gets better for everyone when women's rights are upheld and taken seriously. What an answer by Patricia! Now, it's our handsome kuya of the organization who will answer the next question. And it's from at julianroy underscore 2004. And the question is, as a student, how can I help to prevent violence against women? There are a lot of ways as a student you can help combat violence against women. And this is by simply not blaming the victim. Teach kids that violence will not solve problems and what an informative answer, Kuya Ed. For the next question from Forrest G. Shout to sayo, Kadiran. Can you answer this question at Pizarra? How do Asian women face discrimination? Well, discrimination against women in Asian countries is still deeply rooted in spheres of life such as culture, family, and interpersonal relations. 
patriarchal attitudes regarding the roles and responsibilities of women and men in family and the society tolerate discrimination against women and underlie women's disadvantaged position in areas such as education, employment, and public and political life. They are also a root cause of violence against women, a problem that is significantly widespread across the region. I have learned a lot from your answer, Tatiana. Next part of this video will be really special, guys. Right? Really? Wait a minute. Since our organization aims to connect with everyone, we are able to connect with one each other. Boy, exciting! Good morning, Adrian. Okay, okay. Five letters. Our team is letter J. First one to up their table and say, I will be the first one to guess. Easy, Kuya Ed. Of course, the land of the rising sun. Katumbok mo, Tita Patricia. Let's give them a warm-up. All the way to Japan. Our pretty, beautiful lady. Yoshiba and alias Kurumi. Let's give them a round of applause. Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa, Yoshiba to Kurumi! Watashi tachi no video e yo koso! Kurumi no tame no shizuman ichi. Question number one for me, for Kurumi. Ni pa ni koro jenda piyoto no joko wa do desu ka? Jose wa danse to korobete doto ni atsukore masu ka? What is the status of gender equality in Japan? Are women treated equally to men? Nihon de no gender biodo wa mada mada hatten to chiu desu. Mukashi yori jose ga hataraku koto wa fuete imasu ga, shusse suru no wa dansei ga oi desu si, kokkai no naikaku no member mo, jose na no wa 25 nin chiu 2 dake desu. She said that the situation of Japanese gender equality is still in the process of development. Although the number of working women has increased compared to the past, almost all of the promoted is male and only two of the 25 cabinet members are female. There remains that common sense that females should quit their job when they get married, and there are very few men who take parental leave. Shiro na kata, arigato, Kurumi-chan. Yoshiba no shitsumon ni. Question number two for Yoshiba. Kako ju ni kagatsuka ni. Dare ka ga anato no seibetsi no tame ni anato o futto ni atsukata to omoimasu ka? Do you think someone has mistreated you because of your gender in the last 12 months? Watashi ga miyo wa tozeru no she said that she didn't encounter such harassment and people are very polite. However, she often hears on social media that there are women being harassed, especially in Tokyo. Thank you for joining us, Yosuba and Kurumi. You learned a lot from the both of you. That's all for our Q&A, Maka Adiran. Violence in all its forms can have an impact on a woman's health and well-being throughout the rest of her life, even long after the violence may have ended. It has impacts on society as a whole, and comes with tremendous costs impacting national budgets and overall development. Such violence and discrimination against women can have a fatal outcome like homicide or suicide, lead to injuries with 42% of women who experience intimate partner violence reporting as a consequence of this violence, lead to unintended pregnancies and induced abortions, among women, there are significant differences tied to the gender balance in their workplace. Some 37% of women who say that in their workplace, they have been treated as if they were not competent because of their gender. We therefore conclude and suggest that we must take a stand now or risk further loss of rights. And when I say loss of rights, this often equates to loss of life. With this, it's also important to engage boys and young men to become agents of change. We should also have a sound of gender, transformative policies, from policies around childcare, to equal pay, and laws that support gender equality. We have to eliminate gender discriminations. All women deserve the right to live free from fear and criticism. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to be a member of Adira and also turn on your notification bell to be updated for our next release video. Again, we are Adira, empowering women to be strong, noble, and powerful. See you on our next vlog!